Greetings, children. So a quick uh, premiere bug report for you here today. Have you ever noticed that when you hold the control key and scroll in the timeline that it's totally borked and awful? You can see what modifier I'm using in blue on the lower left, and you can see I'm scrolling up and down with the little green arrow thingies on the cursor. Obviously, this is supposed to zoom in the timeline to where the cursor is, but instead it goes to some random position sort of somewhere around the cursor. Here's a forum post about the issue with a rather unsatisfying answer, but eventually somebody posted the actual solution. Scroll down and you'll find this post by Vertigo JC. He says that you need to allow Windows to do the UI scaling rather than Premiere. So you gotta go to C Drive, Program Files, find Adobe, go to the latest uh, whatever you're on, Premiere Pro, scroll down until you see the EXE, right click, go to Properties, then hit the Compatibility tab, and that's where you click Override High DPI Scaling and set it to System. I've already done this here. By the way, sorry for the abysmal video quality. Shadowplay is acting really weird. I don't know how to fix it. Then you have to restart your computer to get that to uh, actually take effect. So I restarted my computer here. You can see I've got the uh, visualizer on. There's Alt and Control. And when I scroll around, watch this. Oh my gosh, it actually works. Wow, look at that. Unfortunately, um, this has some other effects. Now you're not using Premiere's UI scaling anymore. You're using Windows. Here is my forum post on the situation. Um, as you can see, it's really clear and crisp with Premiere's scaling, and it's really fuzzy. Let's zoom in on that. Really fuzzy with Windows scaling. Not as great, but at least the timeline thingy works. And um, as you can see with these screenshots, the uh, Clip FX editor is also fixed uh, with Windows scaling. However, I am going to switch back to Premiere's UI scaling. Uh, some of my auto hotkey scripts don't work anymore because they're looking for very specific pixel brightnesses and colors and uh, various images like text on the screen. And now it's all fuzzy, so it looks totally different. So these scripts don't work anymore. They're bugging out. I got to switch back. So I will not get to have the nice, easy timeline moving around. So I'll just have to wait for Adobe to fix this problem uh, for real. Now I'm using a 150% UI scaled 4K monitor as my main monitor. Here's the rest of my specs. So uh, just some information about all of that. Okay, submit a wish form. Maybe they'll fix this one as well, eventually.